Hello, my name is Kelty O'Connor and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm currently doing a series where I take you behind the scenes at different workouts, sports, and fitness trends so you know what to expect your first time doing any of those disciplines. I'm really excited. I did a kickboxing one and a boxing one which you guys really like so I thought some other combat sport I could dive into is Mai Tai, Muay Thai, Muay Thai, Mai Tai, Muay Thai. Trigger warning, I'm gonna screw that up a lot in this video. There's just some words that don't you like struggle to say. Is anyone else like this? Plus the example. I'm Canadian. If you've never tried a Nynamo, 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 Nynamo bar. I don't think I still got that right. Yeah, I can't say that word and I really like them. It'd be fine if I never ate them, but you they have them at Starbucks and I'm always really embarrassed to order. So I'm like, um, I'll have the Nynamo bar. And they're like, what? I'm like, Nynamo bar. But the end bar. So that's how the kids say it. So apologizing right now. Trolls who hate on how people pronounce words, here's here's your time. Go down in those comments. Rip me apart. I deserve it. I can't say it. Muay Thai. So I went to TKMT, which is a martial arts studio here in Toronto. There's three locations. They brought me through one of their classes. We're gonna jump right into this, bring you through, and I'll tell you my thoughts at the end of the video. So stay tuned so you can know what to expect the first time you do a Muay Thai class or training session or whatever it is. You're doing it. Hello guys, and this is Candace Mitchell, and if you didn't know who she is, if you're in the Muay Thai, Muay Thai, am I Muay Thai, Muay yeah. Thai. I'm gonna butcher it so many times, I don't know, it just doesn't stick in my head. If you don't know who she is, she's a really big deal. She's actually world champion, so I'm very excited if anyone I'm doing this with is with her. Tell us a bit about Muay Thai, and how you got into it maybe, and yeah. like the premise of the sport. So Muay Thai, it's, uh, it's originated from Thailand, so it's a style of kickboxing, but it incorporates uh, punches, kicks, knees, elbows, um, it's the national sport sports of uh, Thailand. It's, it's really big here in Canada and um, I'm just fortunate to happen to found it pretty late in my life. I picked it up in my, my 30s oh, really? and I moved to Thailand, spent two years uh, training there and just competing. So it's a great sport. So I'm happy to be back in Toronto now and able to share my knowledge with everyone around. It would be, I'm thinking MMA in general. There's boxing, there's karate, fight, all those different like sports and disciplines. What sets Muay Thai apart from everything else? Yeah, I mean, um, there is a lot of combat sports out there but Muay Thai is kind of unique in terms of its, its tradition and its style so there's a lot of things in, in terms of how you get in the ring how you get out of the ring the way women versus men are competing and and that just makes it unique just stylistically boxing taekwondo they have their own styles but Muay Thai you know you have like the clinch portion of it which is like standing up wrestling plus you're you're kicking you're punching you're elbowing your knees so it's a very 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 unique in its, its style Is there any moves I'm sorry moves I guess that might not be the right word that are specific for it that you wouldn't really see in the other disciplines um, I think one of the unique aspects to it is kind of like the clinch with like MMA you can you can do everything you go on the ground you can punch you can box you can kick with Muay Thai you can clinch which is kind of like a stand-up wrestling but you can't go on the ground so you have to do everything standing up so you can hold a person knee them turn them you know when someone's starting out because there's group classes just like boxing you can do like boxing group classes or you can do an actual workout with a trainer. If someone's wanting to start out, where would you recommend they start? Um, it depends on the person's schedule too. Some people, they can't make the times that our classes are scheduled. They want one-on-one -on -one work. We, we do one-on-ones, but if I have to choose, I'd say do the class because you get to meet people. You make friends and people kind of encourage each other, right? So if you're on your own, the, the, the trainer will push you, but when you're in a class, you interact with other people and you get that push. So definitely try out one of the classes first. All the classes are designed for first timers, people who've never done Muay Thai before, we have like a specialized class just for those and then we have the advanced and intermediate class for people who've been doing it a bit longer. I find the format is kind of typical into other gyms that do this is similar, but how explain someone's coming to their first Muay Thai class, what is usually the format of it? We start off with a warm up, it's usually 30, 15 to 30 minutes, so which is skipping. skipping. <laughs> yeah, skipping, you do some push-ups, you do some sit-ups and after we get you warmed up and through that 
exercise we kind of take you through the basics how to stand how to put on your hand wraps how to throw a jab how to throw a cross how to throw a kick how to move around so we go really slow really basic and at the end of it we give you another little workout like more abs and stuff and then we send you off on your way so it's really good it's fun you kind of get to learn a martial arts but also you get to work out and interact with other people get that fitness component of it it's like perfectly kind of structured workout in a lot of ways because you get the beginning cardio ass a lot of yes. skipping like rocky <laughs> Then you also get the act mobility work and then the resistance component that you get in fighting of that. And then you do get the bit more yeah. core. So the one thing I did notice in the, what would it be sparring component? What would be the word of when we were punching and kicking with yeah, the Yeah, hitting the pads. Hitting yeah. the pad, okay, there. <laughs> I, I need to get in with the lingo. So you usually have a punch and a number for each different move. So it'd be like a hook and a jab and then a kick. So how do you guys do that here? Yeah, it's the same thing. So the instructor would call out whatever the combo is for that day. So they might say, Okay, jab cross kick or they might say jab cross knee or jab cross elbow so they'll tell the students what the combo is and then they'll walk around and make sure they're actually doing it right or they'll demonstrate what it is and so the combo would be for example be like a one two and like one two three it, it's, it varies because different teachers have their own styles yeah. sometimes it'll be easier for 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 a student will just say a throw one which is just a jab or throw a two one two or people who don't know what the the weapons are called we might just call out the word or just say throw a jab so they learn uh, that this is a jab or throw a cross so they learn that that word is a cross so learn. depends on the stage that the student is and one other thing that really <laughs> threw me off and she was heckling me the entire time I found it unique how each different like discipline has just little tweaks that are different for example I've only done boxing classes if you guys see my other video you stand kind of like this and your hips yeah, definitely. and then you're supposed to be always forward on this yeah so for Muay Thai oh, yeah, it for Muay Thai me. you can't be in a, in a boxing stance Muay Thai you have to be more square than facing your opponent because we have other weapons right yeah. boxing you just have to worry about your hands and foot movement and you actually want to have a narrow frame so the person would have less of a target in Muay Thai because there's so many other weapons you have to be defending kicks you got to be defending knees and elbows you want to be more squared up so you can like check the kicks you can block your elbows forms yeah. everything it's yeah. always humbling yeah. trying to say new I oh well, that's good. So we are going to hop into the class right now and see everything I was just referring to. Yeah. And you get to see me. I don't think I ever kicked in the, no, I did a kickboxing one, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't pretty. So you guys are going to see this right now. See you in there. One more time. Jab. Kick. 
One, kick. Two, switch kick. That's it. Let's go, yep. Again, push, 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 On my count, yes? All together at the same time. I think it's really cute. They actually have a kids class going on. Jason, you're gonna go jump on somebody's back or do the track? Let's go, baby. Jump and roll. Nobody's a heavy roller. This is a great thing for kids probably to get into. Just teach them a good way to work out, some self defense things. It's a very mobile workout, so kids learn to move, get out, meet people, fun, all that stuff. I'm not into the parenting YouTube, uh, but probably a good idea for kids. And that was my first ever Muay Thai class. Now, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's different ways you can go about it. You can do a group class like that, or you can go do individual training. So this can just be a workout. This can be something for someone to get in shape, have mobility, athleticism, strength, being able to move your body. You can work on your core, you can burn some calories. So it can be that, or you can maybe just start there and transition into actually doing the sport. So my recommendation for you is just try the class. That would be your first place to start. And then if you really like it, to get your form better, maybe hire a trainer do some one-on-one -on -one. and as we mentioned you can do different classes so usually people start at the basic intermediate expert advanced whatever you want to call it every studio is going to be slightly different but I think that's pretty typical amongst all the different Muay Thai studios or MMA combat style sports studio that was a struggle a few little tricks I'll say clothing wise you want athletic apparel that's gonna be sweat wicking because you are gonna sweat a lot but you don't want anything too baggy because when you're punching a lot you can get caught on things maybe not wear long sleeves depending on the material you just don't want it rubbing against the pads. I wore shorts, I was really happy about that, but you'll be kicking a lot, so make sure the shorts aren't gonna show um, special parts. <laughs> that would be my recommendation. Shoe-wise, you actually do it barefoot, so make sure you go to a credible studio. I was lucky, TKMT, I walked in, I actually saw them cleaning the mat, so you knew it was really clean. And also, don't be an idiot. If you're the one with a foot issue or fungus or something, don't go to the class. Like you, I'm sorry, that's on you. Don't be that person, the a-hole that ruins it for everyone and gives everyone infection. That would be my recommendation on what to wear. So yeah, you don't need shoes. Sweat wicking, not too baggy. You can wear shorts, long sleeves, you can wear sports bras, whatever you're comfortable in that sense. Hair tied up because the last thing you want is someone yanking on that. That would, whew, story of my life. Oh, that sounded so bad. That's not, I just mean I have really long hair so it gets caught in things. <sighs> Who let me have a channel? I personally love group classes because I think they're a great way to be a part of a community and make friends. But I'll be honest, this one was super intimidating because it is such a form-based sport and you do a lot of partner things. So this is a workout I'd really recommend bringing a girlfriend to or a boyfriend or your guy friend or whoever it is. I really recommend bringing them just so you have someone to do it with who's at the same level. I know for myself, I'm usually fine with just meeting friends and I'm like, oh, let's partner up. But I know not everyone's like that. So if you're really shy and intimidated, 
and it's really hard for you to meet new people, these kind of classes, I highly recommend having your special someone with you. Otherwise, it's just gonna be way harder. And it can be such a fun way instead of just always going out for beers. But like, you gotta go for beers sometimes. Uh, bring your friend to a class like this. When you're actually like hitting the bags, I found I did sweat a lot because it is quite taxing. It is a very cardio-based sport. Uh, most martial arts combat type sports are. Be prepared to sweat a lot. Hydrate before. Don't have a big meal right before because you're gonna be jumping around. But yeah, do your research. Make sure it's a credible gym. You wanna make sure the form is right because the last thing you wanna do is be hitting people, people punching you, and the form is wrong because that's such an easy way to hurt yourself. That is my first experience out of Mai Tai class. If any of you take Mai Tai or have any recommendations, comment below. Do not copy my form. I am, that is, this is not what this video is for, it's proper form. It was just your first time, what I experienced. So comment down below any other classes, studios, group classes, fitness trends you want me to try. I will make sure to bring them to you because I got so many already filmed and coming for 2019. So I'm so excited to show you guys. We're going to be doing stuff like Soul Cycle. I'm going to try and get you a Barry's boot camp. We've got Pilates. We got EMS training. We got so much coming your way. So if you're new and you want to be a part of that, hit subscribe. I'm currently doing a crazy diet. Expect that in a few weeks, the results. And it's uh, been a doozy, we'll just say. Throw this a like. I appreciate it when you do. No pressure, but uh, just. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. Like always. Bye.